Yo, what's up? We're making reverse seared steaks today. It's a tried and true recipe technique to get the perfect steak cooked every time to your desired temperature. It's very simple. You bake it in the oven at a low temperature and then you finish it on the stove top in a really hot pan for a nice sear on the inside of that crust. The key for me with uh, steak, you know, you start out with quality. I choose the best steak that I can afford and then go from there. For me, that's a thick cut ribeye, which is perfect for reverse searing, you know, with those low temperature cooking. So I season simply salt and pepper. You might see my hands up high. That's because it's a lot easier to get that seasoning on the steak very evenly, the higher up, you know, you, you salt from. So once I have my steak salted, and I, and I like the salt and pepper on all sides of the steak, rubbing it in really well, um, I get the start. I get started. I get my temperature on the oven at about 275. You want to stay between 250 and 275. Anything else, you know, is you know gets a little awkward. I keep my skillet in the oven and let it warm up in the oven while I'm, I'm cooking the steak, and then I'm going to transfer that skillet to the grill and get it really, really hot. So as you cook, you might want to check the temperature, um, you know, just in case to make sure you're not overcooking your steak. And then when you're ready, you know, after cooking in the oven for about you know 20 minutes. 20 to 25 minutes, you know, I like to um, use a high, high smoke point oil like a ghee, um, or you can use like peanut oil or grapeseed oil, something with a high smoke point. And I sear on both sides, add a little but butter, and then baste as I go. The basting adds just an additional layer of flair, flavor on top of that steak. And like I said before, like, you know, you season on both sides, you grill on both sides. And so I put mine upright to get those edges and in that, in that nice marbling a little more crisp, adding to the texture, adding to the flavor, uh, and also just kind of making it look real, real nice. And so if it looks good, it will taste good. That's part of the mantra. And once I'm done, because you reverse sear it, sear it um, you know, you slow cook in the oven. You don't have to wait until, you know, those five, 10 minutes to like let the, let the juices sit. I'm ready to dive right in. You see mine is like a medium rare. I got the exact temperature that I want, dialed it in perfectly and I'm good to go. My meat, my steak is very tender. Um, it's a beautiful cut. Uh, I just really, really like how this turned out. Oh yeah, that crust on the outside is nice too. If you're like me, I add a little finishing touch. I got some smoked sea salt, like really flaky, just some flaky uh, salt. to kind of on top, add a little more flavor on the end. That's all there is to it. Salt, pepper, reverse sear. I serve mine with some spinach and some, uh, some slaw, I had like a Haitian pickles. I'm good to go. If you like the dish, give it a like, leave a comment, but most importantly, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. See you next week. Peace out. Thank you.